Hi guys! So today I have my Hunger Games District 11 makeup tutorial. Um, Hunger Games is responsible for agriculture, so they are responsible for all the farming, um, the plants, the vegetables, the fruits. Um, so yeah, this look I really wanted to do kind of like a floral plant type look. Um, let me zoom in here so you can see. So on the eyes, I went with golds, yellowy golds, and greens, and browns. And then um, on my cheeks, I'll show you real quick, which this is all. I don't think I showed the um, blush that I used, but I used this hot pink right here. I use this um, dark brown for my contour just to give myself a little more of a tan because they are, <coughs> sorry, my hair keeps getting in my mouth, um, because they are in the sun a lot. So, um, and then the two, two of the eyeshadow duos that I use, um, the label has worn off of the packaging. I can't even make out the back. The back is a big mess. But I use this green right here and then I use this brown. So yeah. Um, if you like this look, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, and don't forget to subscribe down below. Check out my Facebook, Instagram, all that. The usual spiel. Um, and if you want to know how to get this look, stick around. Let's get started. Alright, so to begin, I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk and apply this just to my lid. Now, this does have a tendency to crease, so underneath that I have um, my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And you just want to apply that to the lid and blend out. Next, I'm going to take this yellowy gold. This is from the L'Oreal High Intensity Pigment. And I'm going to apply that just to my lid. Now, you don't want to sweep this on because then it will get all bumpy with that base. You just want to pat this on. So I'm patting it onto the lid and in the inner corner. Next, I'm taking this brown, it's like a deep brown burgundy type shade with a uh, smudger brush and I'm applying that to the cut crease and this is going to really intensify that green that's going to be going on top. I'm just going to blend that out and then deepen it again and then blend it out a little more. Now with this next palette again, I don't remember what the name of the brand is. Um, I'm going to take the lighter green and apply that to my crease and blend it up.
Now to kind of intensify the green, I'm going to take this slightly darker green. This is um, in the Mark Flip It kit. Um, it's a company kind of produced by Avon. I'm going to take that darker green and apply that just to the outer corner. It kind of reminds me of a greater than, less than sign. And then I'm going to take the shimmery color from BH Cosmetics and apply that to my lid. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone with that first color that I put on my lid. That soft gold. Next I'm going to take this pencil. This is from NYC and I believe it's just a waterproof eyeliner. Um, this is in the shade Teal. I'm going to apply that to my outer, no, my upper lash line and my, the outer half of my lower lash line. Next I'm going to take my Rimmel London Colga Draw in black and line my waterline and my tight line. Ow. Next I'm going to take a smudger brush with some green shadow, the last green that I used, and I'm going to pat that right on top. Next I'm going to take my Rimmel London liquid liner. I'm going to create a very thin line. This is optional, I just like the way that it looked. I'm just going to create a very thin line at the base of the lashes. And me, I like to wing things out. You don't have to. It's not necessary. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. apply the CoverGirl Bombshell Volume Mascara. I'm going to go back in with that brown just to intensify it just a teeny tiny bit more and then I'm going to blend again. Next I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics uh, Professional Blush Palette and I'm going to contour. I'm going to contour just a little bit heavier. I want to make my appearance seem just a bit darker um, since the people in District 11 are outside a lot. They're getting a lot of sun.
Next, I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush. Any eyeshadow brush will do. This is a pencil brush. I'm gonna take that same shade that I'm going to contour my nose. I just run it along the side of my nose and then I make a little V at the end. And then I'm gonna take my blending brush and just blend that out. A lot of blending. Next I'm going to take a highlighter and I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose and up on my forehead and my the very top of my cheekbones right above that blush that I have not put on. All right, I'm taking the blush. It's like a hot pink color. This is from my BH Cosmetics Professional Blush Palette as well. I'm just going to apply that to the apple of my cheeks and blend up towards my hairline. Now I'm gonna take that highlighter and blend right above that blush. I'm also going to get my Cupid's bow. And then for my lips, I'm taking this Baby Lips product in Pink Shock. It goes on sheer at first, but it does blend out beautiful, or it does um, get really opaque. All right, I wanna thank you guys for watching and don't forget to click like and subscribe. And you can click on the video to see my last video and click obviously you can click on subscribe to subscribe all the links to any of my social networking sites will be down below bye